This application is an event counting application with the National Instruments USB 6009. The USB 6009 has one counter, it's a 32-bit counter and can count at rates up to 5 MHz. So let's first take a look at my setup. It's a very simple setup. I have a switch here that is wired into the input of the counter. That switch also goes and creates a circuit or closes a circuit back to the ground input of the 6009. So when I close the switch, we will count the falling edge of that event and we'll register that as an event count. So let's go right into LabVIEW, our graphical programming for setting up data acquisition applications. It makes setting up the simple things easy, but also is capable of expanding to complex applications. So the first and only thing that we're going to do on the front panel is click right, and we're going to drop down a numeric indicator. So we'll put this here, and our numeric indicator, we're going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it well, but this is just going to show us all of the different counts that we have accumulated over time. So that's our front panel. Let's go straight into the diagram, and now we'll add in the DAC Assistant, and we'll tell the DAC Assistant that in this case, we do want to acquire signals, but we want to count events. So we'll go right down to counter input, we'll do an edge count, and now we're ready to choose the counter, and there's only one, so we'll specify that one. And at this point, we're ready to go. We just want to say, make sure it says one sample on demand, and it does, so we're good, and we'll click OK. And we're ready to go and wire this up. So now, out of the DAC Assistant will be our counter. And it's asking us a question here, do we want to put this in a loop? And the answer is yes, we would like to count over and over again. So we'll take our numeric value, we'll put it inside the loop, and then we'll take our count values and we'll wire it up to the numeric indicator. And at this point, our program is complete and we're ready to run. Let's go back to the front panel. We'll run this and our program is off and running. Now I'm going to reach over and I'm going to start clicking off events from my counter. Now occasionally you may see it jump. And the reason for this is that you get switch bounce from a switch like this and remember that this counter is capable of reading at 5 megahertz. So any of those little switch bounces, we would actually be able to read as actual events. So if you have something like a motor that's running very fast, you would be able to read that as well and actually calculate things like RPMs off of that. So this is a simple application and it shows how you would do event counting with the National Instruments USB 6009.